the number of Arc Alchemist graphics cards that Intel is giving away for free, I think it is more than the large quantities of RTX 3050 that Nvidia promised to deliver. But before moving to Intel's giveaway, let us see what Intel has to say about the Arc graphics cards. In a recent tweet, Raja Koduri said on Twitter that they are working on delivering millions of Arc graphics cards into the hands of PC gamers. He acknowledged that the GPU shortage is a huge issue for not only PC gamers but also for the industry. So according to him, Intel is trying its best to produce a lot of graphics cards to ease the situation. However, you should still take this statement with a bit of salt because these days it is very difficult to trust these giant companies as a lot of their promises do not go as said. But looking at the reports, we do find that Intel is prepared enough to deliver the graphics cards not only for the desktops but also for the gaming notebooks. A recent leak by Episark on Twitter shows that Babco has some info about one of the upcoming high-end gaming notebooks that uses the Intel Alder Lake i7-12800H processor. This laptop is featuring the Arc A370M graphics unit that is based on the entry-level DG2 chip. This chip comes with 128 execution units and it is the same that will be used in the Acer's upcoming Swift X laptop. While the Arc A370M isn't a powerful graphics card, it is supposedly going against the RTX 3050, which is definitely a decent GPU for 1080p gaming. Then we also have another report from XMG, where they have plans to use the latest ARC GPUs in their new gaming laptops this year. So we can clearly conclude that right now, Intel is focusing more on providing the ARC GPUs in the gaming laptops than desktops. This looks more accurate if we consider Intel's presentation in CES. However, the ARC GPUs are planned to be released before April, and while not all the ARC GP models will be launched, we are going to have at least two models in the market, followed by the others later this year. Great thing is that before the official launch, Intel already planned to give away 300 ARC GPUs to the participants in their program. I don't know if you have heard about this, but Intel started its XCHPG scavenger hunt on 27th October last year, and it is going to end tomorrow. This program requires the participants to answer 10 questions, which will give them some points. So, based on that, 300 participants who achieve the highest score will receive Intel Arc GPUs before the official launch for absolutely free. Following that, the next 1000 highest scoring participants will get $100 discount on the Arc GPUs and the next 1000 participants will get $50 discount. So, seeing this, I do believe that Intel has done enough preparation for delivering decent quantities of GPUs in the desktop market. At least I can say it for sure that the number of free GPUs Intel is giving away are more than the RTX 3050 GPUs that Nvidia produced. But there is still one concern. Intel previously said that it won't limit mining on its ARC GPUs and that can affect the GPU availability when ARC GPUs hit the market. As we don't know how much profit these GPUs will generate through mining, things can go in any direction. But at the same time, I am happy that just 2-3 to three months after the launch, Ethereum will finally transition to proof of stake, making it independent of GPUs. Now the only thing Intel needs to fight are the scalpers. I hope this will be easier, as we all saw that RX 6500 XT is easily available in the market, sometimes even for its MSRP, as miners are staying away from it. Otherwise, they are the ones that are ready to pay higher prices to scalpers compared to PC gamers, as they know they are going to profit in the end. Let's see how Intel tackles this problem in the coming months. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any updates on that. And I will be back very soon.